California man is accused of raping or sexually assaulting seven women in a case that raises new questions about the safety of ride-sharing services like Uber and Lyft. 44-year-old Nicholas Morales faces 27 felony counts. Police say that he posed as a ride-share driver. Carter Evans shows us the risk and the new technology that companies are using to try to keep the passengers safe. Rideshare services like Uber and Lyft are often used as a safe way home after a night out. But a series of sexual assaults by men posing as drivers is prompting police to warn passengers to take extra precautions. It certainly reminds us that you know, there are a lot of bad people out there. The Los Angeles District Attorney's Office says Nicholas Morales attacked at least seven different women while posing as a rideshare driver. He's facing more than two dozen charges, including rape and sodomy by use of force. Our victim was preoccupied at the time, thought that she was getting to the vehicle that was there to pick her up. Uh, Mr. Morales took advantage of the situation and assaulted her. Police say predators are taking advantage of these apps because their victims are looking for regular cars, not well-marked taxi cabs. Tracy Breeden, who manages global safety communications for Uber, says their app has several safeguards to help passengers. So we have the license plate right here, and we have the make and the model of the vehicle, as well as the picture of the driver. Breeden says another key step is asking the right question as you approach the car. Hi, can you tell me who you're here for? Yes, I'm here for Tracy. He's here for Tracy, so he said the right name. Uber is also currently inviting drivers in select markets to install Uber Beacon. It's a digital display that allows passengers to match the color that appears on their app with the color in the car. Lyft has similar features. Riders say these attacks are a good reminder to stay alert. I should probably do yeah. more. It's just so much part of the culture, especially living in the yeah. city, that I don't think about it anymore. For CBS This Morning, Carter Evans, San Francisco. Well, we reached out to the Los Angeles County Public Defender's Office, which is representing Morales. They were unable to comment overnight. Another note, make sure you check before you get in the car. Be safe.